All right, some of you guys have been asking about the art stuff, and we have two items that we're listing today. So I decided, uh, why don't I show you some of the, the art things for listing art on eBay, uh, talking about art and different things that you know you might want to look out for uh, when sourcing art or trying to determine the value of art. And uh, I'm going to explain in this video one of the hardest things you're ever going to do when uh, trying to source art. So stay tuned. Okay, so today we got two framed pieces of art. We have one oil on canvas and one watercolor. Now, some of the terminology, oil on canvas, what does that mean? It means it's oil-based paint on a canvas um, medium. And uh, this one is a watercolor on paper. And for those who don't know what watercolor is, it's basically like, uh, imagine like it almost looks like coffee stains. It's very hard to, to describe except for it's pretty much watercolor that you know when you see like basically if you were to push some pigment on with water mixed into it it would kind of almost bleed into uh, the porous stuff of the paper so that's what watercolor is and oil is just a, basically a, a type of a paint and uh, it takes a very long time to dry and that's why a lot of artists like to use oil because you can really uh, manipulate the colors and do a lot of stuff and fix a little different things before it sets. Acrylic, that which is water-based paint, uh, tends to dry really fast. So the two things are actually the, the number one thing you're going to come across when sourcing art. Uh, the hardest thing to do is determining what the artist is because as you can see here we have a an artist name that is scratched into uh, the painting here and this artist one happens to be in signature that is pretty much illegible um, and we'll show you exactly which ones that is the artist on this one if we flip it back they were nice enough to put the artist name on the back and we got uh, Valentina Roshenko and Valentina is on the front and you would actually have to really kind of look at it to figure that out and you might think that would be the last name so one of the major things you're going to ever the the hardest thing you're ever going to determine is what who the artist is uh, never mind all the technical stuff about oil on canvas or oil on mat board or anything the number one thing is going to be determining who the artist is so that's going to be the hardest thing to do so that's one of the things that you'll have to learn these two pieces were actually nice enough whatever gallery this came from were nice enough to actually write stuff on the back so uh, another pro tip if you, have an, if you have an old painting that's covered in this kind of white uh, thing sometimes or this um, paper framing stuff if you open up the back sometimes it'll give you more information this one happens to say birch forest flax Arizona uh, where it basically is what the subject matter is here on this particular one and uh, as you can see you know when you're listing it you want to say condition grades of the frame this one's got some some shelf wear as you can see it's probably was stored on its uh, stored flat at some point because there's no reason to have you know uh, damage on the edge like that unless it's you know been stored like that and then stuff stacked on top of it so uh, there's that I usually put towels and bubble wrap on some of the stuff that uh, when we're storing it if you're storing art make sure just like vinyl you're storing it upright and if you have to just whatever you do don't try to stack them though if you do stack them use bubble wrap and cardboard for the layers uh, just so it's just another thing of protection uh, but if you if you can try to store art you know vertically uh, just like if you would do LPs and everything like that so that's the number one kind of uh, kind of trouble you're ever gonna have doing art uh, never mind if it's authentic or anything like that the hardest thing is going to be uh, determining who is the artist so uh, we'll make some more videos on art if you have any art questions please leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll, we'll start a, a eBay art series this is basically maybe the first one we'll talk about uh, your number one problem that you're gonna have is determining what artist uh, did the painting so uh, like I said, luckily for these, they were on there. I can tell you for sure, for sure uh, you know, I'm no expert, but I probably would have never figured out 
uh, who these are, especially this one. Look at this one. This one is just insane. I don't know what that is. I might have got those last few letters, but determining that was an M, forget about it. Anyways, this is Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any art questions. Uh, click the like button and we'll do some more videos down the road. Take care. What you know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? What you knowin' about wearing a bird box? Get I'm digging. I'm digging, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trash, that's another man's pillow. Your granddad, we're donating that crap. It's a shirt, cause now I'm up in the I'm in the you can find me in the... I'm not, I'm not, I'm searching in the section.